So, uh, you know, you, I just want to go back and circle back around because you talked about, I don't want to drop this ball because it's, it is, it is, um, it is amazing how many great actors were in Vision Quest. Um, and like you mentioned, uh, which very few people remember, um, certain people being in there because they had a very small role, but then they've gone on to just kill it. Um, and, and so I want to talk about Linda Fiorentino, who really nailed that job, that role down. Cooch, uh, Michael Schofling, um, uh, Forrest Whitaker. Oh my God, this guy has just gone crazy with how great he has become. Uh, and he was right in that moment where he came, he had kind of a lull after Fast Times at Ridgemont High and he just wasn't getting any calls. And he got Vision Quest and he had like this really small role. But during that time, he had done an audition for Color of Money. He goes, yeah, I, you know, I, I just did this audition. I, I think they really like me. And I don't know if you remember, it, but it's so memorable to me where he was uh, Paul Newman and he were playing pool and Paul thought he was, you know, sharking this kid and the kid was sharking him, yep. you know, yep. and it was, and he was able to, to maintain a certain level of what you have to, if you're going to be on the same screen with Paul Newman and he so nailed that scene that his career just completely took off and he just continued to get better and better. And so I just you know, I have to acknowledge that such a great actor and he was in, in the movie, uh, Raphael Savars, he was um, in the movie and he's gone on to do just amazing things on stage as well as other movies. Um, I know he had a great run with a, a, a show out here in Pacific and Pasadena it was really a tough show to, and it's a live uh, theater that he did. So he has, he really has some good chops. Um, again, like you mentioned, Ronnie Cox, he's been around, a, he's been around for so many things as well. Um, but they're just a great cast of characters um, that continue to go on and do more just great work. And I think it has a lot to do with um, Harold Becker's eye. I don't know if you know, but he, he did taps and he spotted Tom Cruise and um, um, God, who was the other actor that was in there? Um, it was really did well um, besides Timothy Hutton. So there's Timothy Hutton, there's Tom Cruise. I think Sean, um, was Sean in that movie? Anyway, but his eye for detail and his ability to pick out talent I think says a lot and the people that he ends up picking for the movie kind of really tells you kind of his, his eye, you know, for detail and his ability to see that, that the people that can, can do the job and they're going to have great careers. Yeah, no, you, you mentioned the, uh, the Cooch character and that was just a phenomenal role as well. And yeah, it was a lot of emotion. I mean, he was losing his spot. Um, you know, he was dealing with a lot of family stuff as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he was Native American as well, too. Um, oh, oh, wait a minute. You remember what his line in there? I ain't no fucking, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't no fucking Indian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just something I made up in my head. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he used that. But it's so funny because when I talk to wrestlers, and they'll say, yeah, like, we'll, we'll go out drinking. And sure enough, at some point in the, in the middle of the night, one of these guys are going to say that line. Yeah. I ain't no fucking Indian. I just made it up in my head. <laughs> you get about half crocked. <laughs> yeah. 